evening. Welcome to Da Vinci's Bar. Please have a seat. Uh, you know, we're a small establishment, but uh, we got really good cocktails. What can I get for you tonight? Hmm, really? Something new? Something approachable? Something special? Okay, yeah. I know what you need. Oh, and don't worry. I got something special for you too. Hey, what's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon, welcome to Da Vinci's Alchemist, your blue collar guide for drinking well, stinking pretty, and let me tell you, today we are all about drinking well and stinking pretty. I'm super excited about today's presentation. Not only do I have a fabulous, wonderful hype beast that has been going around the fragrance community for you, which is, of course, Angel Share from By Killian, but I have also concocted a specialty cocktail for this fragrance specifically, and I'm also naming it Angel Share. Before I even get started, I just want to say, uh, repeat viewers and subscribers, thanks so much for coming by. Uh, and if you are new to my channel, please stick around to the end. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Uh, it's a great way to show support for my channel. So earlier this year, By Killian released uh, this amazing little beauty. This is Angel Share. The presentation on this, of course, is absolutely phenomenal. It looks just like a whiskey glass particularly some of the whiskey glasses that I own myself. So of course, when I saw this come out, I gotta admit, I just had to have it based on the aesthetics alone. And admittedly, I did blind buy it, but once I got it, I fell in love with it. So if you were expecting any negativity on this review, sorry to disappoint you. So listed notes for Angel Share on by Killian's website, they're not super complex. They're literally cognac, tonka bean, and oak barrel. And I gotta tell you, I get an awful lot more from this experience than what is listed. To me, in the opening, I get the slightest hint, like a little bitty hint of a citrus. Kinda comes through like orange, not super in your face, just enough to literally uh, lift up and kind of aerate the fragrance. Immediately following that, I get actually this nice kind of a honey syrup texture, and of course, the booze is unmistakable. The cognac note in this is unmistakable. I definitely get a little bit of sweetness, but to me it really doesn't translate as tonka bean. I think some of the woodiness, the small amount of kind of a, like a woody shoulder that it builds on is a little bit of that tonka bean. Um, but also I do get a little bit of a spiciness to it. It's not a super crazy intense spiciness, like a cinnamon sort of a kick, but it's just a little bit. It's almost like like a cinnamon bark. And that to me is pretty much through the entire life of the fragrance. To me, it doesn't change a whole hell of a lot. It's relatively linear. Like I said, the very opening has a nice little bit of a citrus um, uplift, but then that sort of dies down after a little bit. And then throughout the hours, and I tell you what hours that I get from this, that's honey, amber, woodiness, a little bit of cinnamon, and an outstanding booze note. So the website does list this, Oak Barrel. Now it doesn't have a super strong oaky note to me, at least this, you know, this barrel, like you open up this and you take a whiff, oh yeah, that's heaven. This has had whiskey in it. And uh, I gotta tell you, that charred note that's typically in one of these bad boys, it, it does not come through for me in Angel Share, which honestly I kind of like. It's not a smoky uh, fragrance at all. It is 100% approachable, 100% likable, and I gotta be honest, I would be, I feel like I would be hard pressed to find someone that didn't like this fragrance. Now I wore this to work today and uh, the projection I can tell you from experience today is quite intense. I'm a construction worker, I sit in a big giant uh, Connex shack, but we have to social distance because of the COVID. Now, uh, one of my coworkers down in the far end when he first came in, smelled me instantaneously when he came in. So from that, I know that Angel Share is no joke. Now I promised you guys a cocktail. Before we get into that, thinking maybe you should pause this and get this list of ingredients. Now there's a couple of things that are pretty, pretty nominal. Vermouth Blanc, which you can pretty much pick up anywhere. Uh, I don't go for the cheap stuff. I have a brand called Doulard from France and it's friggin' amazing, but you can use any one that you want. Some kind of orange liqueur, Cointreau, Grand Marnier, I use Grand Gala. But these next ingredients 
are really, really integral. You gotta pick yourself up a bottle of Baron Jaeger honey liqueur for sure. Add it to that list, Fees Brothers whiskey barrel bitters, as well as black walnut bitters. Throw a little bit of your favorite rye whiskey into the mix, and you have to top it all off, of course. You cannot skimp on this. You gotta get Hennessy. This part is non-negotiable, guys. Hennessy fragrance, Hennessy cognac. Welcome back again to Da Vinci's Bar. Uh, once again, I carefully crafted and curated this cocktail specifically for the Fragrance Angel Share. I wanted to add elements that would not only complement it, but would match it as close as humanly possible to what I get out of it. Now, as I get started, I do want to mention that I, of course, wanted to lend credence to the heritage of Killian Hennessy by, of course, adding Hennessy Cognac, not to mention the fact that Cognac tends to be a little bit smoother, uh, a little bit more well-rounded, not quite as oaky as, you know, American Ryes or American Bourbons, but of course I did want just a small, small touch of that oaky sort of uh, note, so I am going to be adding just a small amount of Rittenhouse Rye in this beverage. What you're going to need, of course, is your measuring devices. I have those here, a strainer, a mixing spoon, and of course your mixing glass. Now I get all of this barware from cocktailkingdom.com. I am not at all affiliated with them or sponsored by them, but I will link their website down below because if you're interested in making cocktails at home, I highly suggest uh, the stuff that they sell because it is top notch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build this cocktail in this mixing glass, stir it till it's super cold, we're gonna strain it onto some fresh ice in this cocktail glass, and we're gonna garnish it nicely. So here we go. As I said, I wanted to add elements that were going to definitely replicate and build upon the fragrance of Angel Share. So uh, I wanna add four shakes of Fees Brothers Whiskey Barrel Bitters. To build on the richness and sweetness, we're going to go ahead and throw in one shake of black walnut bitters, also from Fees Brothers. As I mentioned, we want to throw a little bit of Rittenhouse Rye. It's got a wonderful, nice little bite to it. I go with a quarter ounce of this right into the glass. You're going to reach for your Baron Jaeger Honey Liqueur. If you've never tried having a hot toddy with this in it, you are seriously missing out. You want to throw in just a half ounce of that into the glass. Wipe it off, cap it back on, toss it to the side. You want to go with one full ounce of Vermouth Blanc right into the glass. Now we add the super important ingredient, which is Hennessy Cognac. We want to throw one and three quarter ounce total into the mixing cup. First ounce and three quarter. And as I mentioned before, there is a small amount, a nice little bit of an orange lift in this. So we're going to take our orange liqueur. I choose Grand Gala because it is actually a little bit cheaper than Cointreau and Grand Marnier, but to me, just as good. We only want to put one single bar spoonful into this cocktail. Wipe off the cap because that stuff gets sticky. Bring it over to the side. Now we want to take our very large bombastic one by one ice cubes. Load that mixing glass up, start your stir. I like to go with about 75 revolutions or until the sides of this glass are nice and frosty. Go ahead and grab your whiskey glass, which the etching on this one really matches and complements the uh, Angel Share design from By Killian. Drop in one big old bad boy ice cube, two inch by two inch because you want this thing to stay cold, but you do not want it to dilute too much, or at least not too quickly. Go ahead and pick your strainer up, toss her on there. Get this beautiful elixir into the glass. <laughs> Grab yourself a nice, big, beautiful, fresh, juicy orange with some decent peel. Give it a nice little coin size rip. Give that a little bit of a expel press. And then you want to twist it a little, rim it around the glass, drop that in the drink. There you are. This, ladies and gentlemen, created by me is Angel Share in honor of Angel Share from By Killian. Hope you guys enjoy that cocktail if you get a chance to make it. So let's go into my rating for this fragrance. This blew me out of the water. Like I said, fell in love with it right when I got it. Uh, to me, I haven't obviously tested it in the warmer weather yet, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be a year-round fragrance. 
I find it to be incredibly unisex. Definitely anybody in the world spectrum of people can wear this and smell amazing. And again, that honey sweetness, that nice cognac booziness, that little bit of woodiness, and that pinch of cinnamon that lasts through the entirety of the fragrance, great combo. For me, this is definitely a 4.5. During this time of COVID, you know, when we can't go out and paint the town red, uh, this really gives me this feeling of spending an evening with friends, enjoying new restaurants, laughing together, seeing things and places around town that we've never actually seen before. Angel Share to me is super versatile from the construction site to suiting up at a formal event. This can go wherever in the world it is that you're going. And one of my favorite things about this fragrance, guys, is that for a higher end Killian, this is actually not too terribly priced. Now I know that Killian does have a slightly cheaper line that typically sells at Sephora. Uh, and then they have, of course, you know, stuff like Black Phantom, uh, Back in Black, that is definitely a little bit more expensive. But this 50 ml bottle is just north of 150, which for a, you know, a niche high-end type fragrance, is pretty approachable. I don't have a clue if it's gonna show up on discounters anytime soon. I know that I absolutely love this bottle and I absolutely love this fragrance, so I'm pretty high on the hog and super happy about it. From the very first time I put this on, and now whenever I do wear it, I get this beautiful song. Uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to find it. I'll try to link it down below. Um, it's from a band that it was local here in Portland, defunct now, unfortunately, by the name of Dirt Nap. Real kind of down-home, southern-style heavy metal. Fork tongue guitar licks, pocket drum beats, and LB on the sexy vocals, as well as that growl. Man, I'm telling you, they were a really great band. Missed the hell out of them. The song is Bullets and Motor Oil. Hope I can find it and hook you guys into it. If not, hopefully you can go check it out. That, my friends, is my insight to Angel Share from Killian. Hopefully I have piqued your interest. Again, sample it for yourself before you buy. That's always my recommendation, even if I don't follow my own damn rules. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I really wanna thank you for sticking around. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up if you like it. Hit that notification bell to uh, alert you of future videos when I drop them. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends about Da Vinci's Alchemist. I sincerely hope you're all having a fantastic holiday season. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and no matter what you're doing, no matter where you're going, don't forget, keep calm, stink pretty, and I'll see you on the next one.